Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 47 of Bird Squawk. It's finally over. End Thank the misery. Thankfully. I mean, they're the 2020 Eagles are done playing football games, but it's far from over from that. But, uh, I mean, it hurts as an Eagles fan to say, but I am happy it is over. I was looking forward to getting this thing over with, and I don't know how you guys feel, but... I'm happy by the way it went down. <laughs> but, I, uh, but can we just say dysfunctional? I mean, the, the team is just dysfunctional. And, and Lori bringing these guys back is yeah. just mind-boggling. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's not much to talk about the game, as we know. But, I mean, like, I mean, at the end of the day, Hurt struggled, even if he did come out of the game or not and what it was. He was 7-20 to with 72 yards, an interception, and two rushing touchdowns. I mean, he had, like, a 25 pass rating. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what you could see, what you really saw again with that poor offensive line yeah. is when that breaks down, I mean, it's his legs that save him. Yeah. Because, you know, when everything falls apart, he's looking just like Wentz back there, trying to make a play, trying to find somebody that's open, trying to do something. Yeah, so obviously the game, I mean, I don't know how you guys were rooting. I was, like, kind of low-key rooting. Well, it was pretty the... obvious the fix was in. I mean, I, mean, you know, I, I kind of was... knew the fix was I in. Mean, I... The day before when all these players were, yes. like, out of the yes. lineup, then we have a fourth and two. Yes, and at, like, punt. the 50, and they didn't go you for know, it. I was it, like, it was uh, like this, that's is, prime. this smells, you know, this is getting a little suspect. That's prime, Doug. And, I mean, they yeah. went in the half down three, and I thought they were going to go into the half leading. And I was like, they're really about to win this game. I mean, we were trying to, to I mean, hand and, it to Washington. And they were trying they to give it back. They, they were trying their best to just give it to us. Terrible. Um, God, it was horrible. That was not even a great game to watch. No, just like every other brutal. Eagles game this season. You know, it was like, you know, at towards the end of that game, it was like, why did I even invest any time in this yeah, game? I, um, but I watched it. Yes. Um, so then, obviously, Studfeld came in. Studfeld. Uh, oh, my God, Studfeld. Wow. But, I mean, I, when it happened, I literally bursted out laughing and was like, they're really doing this right yeah, now. That, that was brutal. And, I mean, right off the bat, you got to think that's upper, that's the front office, that's someone saying something. But just, like, all year, this team just, uh, like, I don't know, like, is Doug really that brain dead that he said to Nate, we're going to play you, and then he just said whatever? Or did Lori say something? I mean, it sounds like Doug just did this out of his, like, he just said, hey, what we're doing. Now. I don't know, but then you got you got players coming out with, like, they, they totally disagreed with the call. Yeah. I mean, players that were, like, Totally ticked off, wanting to confront Dougie on the sideline. You yeah, know, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I I don't know. I mean, reports, man. Know, We're getting into reports and how yeah, crap yeah, they are. Oh, and if I hear another report that Wentz wants out of town without a source, I, I mean, mean, this is what I'm going to say. Come on, Carson. Even in this tender before this year. Reports, reports, reports. The bad teammate, the whatever. The, there's always stuff about this guy, and nothing ever seems to be true. I, I like, mean, I, until I see it, I'm until, not believing until it. Until Carson comes out and says it. I mean, which he won't. I don't believe it. And, and I don't believe any of it because it's, you know, if it was anybody else, I might give some credit to it. But the guy's a God-fearing man. The guy knows right from wrong. The guy's been stand-up the whole time he's been in Philly. I don't see him saying this stuff. I, I just that's the, don't I, I, see it. And I don't know how many Eagle fans can turn on this guy, you know, before they come to the realization that he's not saying it. No, that's the thing, too. I just don't think he's saying I just think it, I, like we've said before, I don't get what the national media's agenda is with Carson. It there, makes a always, good hot take on a always, Sunday. Always, always. You know, it's a hot take. Hey, it Carson came, looks yeah. upset. Oh, he wants out. Sunday let's, morning, let's this comes out, it. and then today, which is Tuesday, when we're recording this, there's reports that he doesn't want out. Well, no yeah. crap. Yeah. I didn't even believe into it a little bit. You know. But... I, mean, I did. I did hear a report today, though, that the Steelers are a team that. Well, that the Steelers, would look the Colts, him. and I think even the Niners yeah. are looking at him a little bit. And then obviously the Patriots are always going to be lurking in the shadows if it really gets to that point. But I don't know. But then you have Four Howie games. saying they don't want to get rid of him, you know. But but they but dodged who, it. They all dodged the who question. Who believes anything Doug Howie anyway, say? Exactly. 
I believe absolutely nothing no, that no. those two guys say. I don't either. It's just they dodge questions. They kind of like sugarcoat stuff. I you mean, know, Dougie has turned into Barry Switzer. I mean, in three years, he's turned into Barry Switzer, a, a goofball. And it really is a like I don't understand. And I mean, here we are. I know this is at this moment in time is the least of the issues of what was happening on Sunday night, but four games. I'm not sold yeah, that this is uh, yeah, um, I, two games. You were getting me a little bit. I, like I was the, shocked. I like the kid, but um, he needs a longer body of work before yes. I'm going to hand and him the, the and, keys to the franchise. And if they're doing that, if they're making that call, you got to develop him as a passer. Yeah. yeah. I'm. It, this team has so many exactly. holes. Exactly. If you and, go through and, and every... Dougie, if you're the head coach... Step up and be a leader of men, man. You kept your guys playing, but step up and be a oh, leader and of men. Doug, man, I love Doug in his one press conference. He was like, "Oh, I really think this year the offense was the problem was there was too many voices." Dude, the whole thing is we want more voices, and he said, "I need to make sure my voice is the only voice." Oh no, my God, that no is the op don't. that is the complete opposite yes. of we what we want. To your voice, look what it got us. That's the complete opposite of what we want with this team. Uh, and that's the thing. This I've been saying it probably since week five. Jim Schwartz was gonna be the scapegoat. He was gonna oh, be he, the he, sacrificial he was a, lamb. He was a scapegoat. Because. He got canned. He's not stepping away. Yeah, it was I a respectful honestly, I honestly way. I honestly believe they said, look, you got two options. Either yep. we're firing you or, you're or stepping you retire. Down. Yep. That's exactly what I think happened, you're too. you're not coming back. So, yeah, Jim Schwartz, sacrificial lamb. And then all these the offensive gurus, these Press Taylor guys, they're probably gone. You know, but the, at the, the end thing, of the day. The thing I will say is our staff is terrible because at the end of the year, there is nobody from any other team trying to pluck people from our staff. Yeah, other since the there Super Bowl. are no head coaches openings out there where they're looking at the Eagles staff and saying, "I want to interview him. I yeah. want to interview him. I want to interview." No, we don't have that anymore. Nope. There is nobody on this staff that anybody wants. It's just so. And that's Doug. Doug, have yes. you elevated anybody on your no. staff? No. No, you no. haven't. It's just, I mean, at the end of the day, we're the sixth overall pick, and I am pumped about that. And I'm going to tell you this straight up, and I'll tell you this straight up, as I long want, as the draft is, Devontae Smith. I want Devontae Smith. We are going. I want Devontae Smith. Tonight is the Heisman. He's he gonna is win going the Heisman. to win the Heisman as a wide receiver. Yes. And whatever. If he's not the guy, he's not the guy. But don't overthink it. If take, your past mistakes have not proved the anything. guy. Do not overthink it. He's on the board. He's gonna be there. If he's there at six, he should be an eagle. I think I I I know that's not gonna clear up everything. But yeah, that's they so many holes. Exactly. So if you go holes. through this every position on this team has some issue or something on it. I wanna see the Slim Reaper in an Eagles uniform. I want to see Devontae Smith I want happen him. so bad. He is such a stud. And if you aren't buying the hype Next Monday night, sit down and watch the national championship game and see what he does against Ohio State. Well, I'm just going to say this. I mean, look at the guys that came out from the big-time schools, LSU, yeah. Alabama, yeah. Ohio State. Yeah. Don't go for Texas Christian yeah, anymore. Don't go, don't for, go for Oregon. Stanford. Don't, don't go for Stanford. Yeah. Go for the yeah. big-time schools. Of him, don't man. overthink it. Speaking of him, J.J. I think a white side sighting on – Sunday. He actually caught a he couple made it. Then I was, a couple I, I was astonished. I was like, who is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's enough. That's enough talk of him. But the, I mean yeah. that's the only thing exciting about that's why I wanted them to truly lose on Sunday. And yes, did it look bad? Yeah. But I'm just but gonna it, say yeah. to you, giant fans. I don't care. I, I I really don't give a crap. Joe Judge Get out of You're here. You're a fake Philly you won dude. six games. Six games. All right? Don't talk like you won 11 games or 12 games. And you then won he was, six games. And then he was talking. And you're begging us for a win. And then he was talking like, these guys did a lot. We're all doing a lot this year, yeah, Joe. Yeah. We you're, had to sit and watch it. <laughs> you, like, you guys are not, like, frontline workers putting yeah, their lives yeah. on the line. Like, Give me a break, dude. Like, you can't. Everyone's doing break. this stuff right now. And... Like I said, I think it looks bad, but at the same time, hey. I didn't give a crap. And if it's a one, and hey, hey. NFL, 
Don't flex the dumb game. Yeah, I mean, what were they thinking? If you don't flex the game, no one cares. What were they it, thinking? It's hidden Let's in... Let's flex this game of, of Drek. Terrible. Uh, it horrible. Was terrible. I was... Drek. And Collinsworth, I mean, uh, he must he was have classic. been drunk. He was classic yeah. Collinsworth. Just saying oh. things. Like, it's just like, dude, shut up. Yeah. Uh, but now, now comes the total off season of what the hell do we do so i mean from what howie said yesterday they're doing they're gonna do the off season that they should have done last year oh we yeah. have because of the pandemic we held on to those older guys because we knew more about them well right, right, whatever right, 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 use right, the right. pandemic all you want we need to get young and I we honestly, all know i honestly hope jeff Lurie said to those guys you got next year yet and if you don't get this right, you're gone. It's we all know, know it's a. Re, I mean, I know the division's probably gonna suck again, but it's still a rebuilding year. There, it, there's yeah. still gonna be That's so many holes. God, so many awful, holes. Terrible. So many holes to fill. It, it's just annoying because I just don't get like if we did the body of work that these guys would do, we're not like in, in just common life. You're not gonna have your job anymore. Man, Howie, congrats! You yeah. added another Pro Bowler yeah. after seven years because Miles was like a fifth alternative yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Congrats, Miles! I'm happy for you. You had a great yeah. season, but Howie, you don't care. Yeah. You need to hit at six. You you definitely if need. If you a hit. pull off some crap uh, of some dude I don't know, uh, or some guy my jaw just drops and said we did what? I can honestly, I'm gonna see, lose. I it. could honestly see them trading this pick. Don't even speak that into the existence. <laughs> I do could, not do I that either. Don't do that either. I could see it happening. I'm just fixated <laughs> on this kid because he is legit, and oh, I yeah. know it's not gonna well, shadow well, everything. That's what I talked about before, though. We talked about this earlier in the season, right? If, if say, I don't even care who, if you're going to bring Wentz back or you're going to have Hurts, they need a legit number one. Yeah. That's what this kid is. Do you see the Bills this year? Stephante, uh, Stephante Diggs isn't even that high quality. He's a great wide receiver, but not even in the top echelon, in my opinion. And they are incredible this year. Yeah. Oh, no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> it's just annoying. And I like I said, I'm happy it's over. Oh, thankful it's over. So thankful, thankful it's, it's over. over. But I mean, I'll be rooting for the Bills. I think. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm run. think I'm going think with I'm the Bills, Bills as well. Fan. We'll see what happens. Um, but it's thankfully over, and there, there, there's I don't even know. There's the path ahead of who knows what. Yeah, and we'll get into a lot of that. Yes, I mean, obviously, as the draft you know, is a while away, but you, we're you really going to be looking at that. We sat here in August. Oh, we were we all blind. Did not we were all blind to what was happening. Eleven win and one season. We, we were all not, blind. We did not. All thinking too much, wow. and I'm, I, it, it is what happens. And yes, even though the season is end. We will be here oh, yeah. still yeah, on Wednesdays. Going, we're not going away. Because stuff's going to happen. Things will happen. But as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Fly, Eagles, fly. Go, birds.